Hello, Mystic Poet 82 here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look for signs of spring, and this tree right here, if that will focus, already has buds on it. Very small, but they're there. Also, the grass is getting green, thankfully. I was so tired of seeing it all dead. Now, dandelions, obviously, one of the first flowers that you see. And they're pretty much everywhere. Also, there's these little white flowers. I honestly have no idea what they're called. But they're cute. And there's also clover everywhere. Another common weed kind of flower that you see is bumblebee weed. And it's kind of like a purplish pinkish flower. And usually when it gets warmer out, the bees are attracted to it. I don't know if it's the color or the pollen or something on it. But if you don't want to get stung, stay away from it. It's pretty much how I picture it. Also, I know there's violets. I don't see any right now. My mom usually has a lot in her yard. And those wild violets you can actually eat. It tastes just like lettuce. And I always used to wash them off at home before I'd eat them. Because you never know if they're covered with cat pee. Or dog pee, depending on what pets you have. Also, there's a couple big holes around here. I don't know what's living in it. Maybe groundhog, I don't know. But yeah, here's a little bit of bumblebee weed. Um, I was out here the other day and I took a picture of it, but I want to include it in the video if I can find it again. Because this is a farmer's field. And it looks like he's getting it ready to plant as soon as possible. Um, I found a deer hoof print in here. So yeah, they come pretty close, but nobody feeds them. But there's a spot where I think one slipped. I'm trying to remember where it was. It was kind of along here. And it's a little muddy, so... Um, but yeah, I've, I've lived in this area my whole life and used to farms and stuff like this and walking through it and... Actually in the farm... The farmer's field across from my parents' house... I found a broken arrowhead. The only reason I could tell it was broken was it had like a chip that, like when they were carving it, shaping it, like a chip came out. And I think it was made out of quartz. So my guess is quartz isn't exactly the best rock to use to make a decent arrowhead. Or you just have to be really careful. Um... I did not see where that deer footprint went. Maybe it was further in, I'm not sure. But yeah, I have found... Like, not really... I found rocks. Cool looking rocks. I used to have a huge rock collection. But I think most kids do when they live in an area where they can... Get that, uh... And a lot of it was quartz. I don't know what the names of all the other ones were. I used to have a book. But I never, like, really sat down to study it extensively. So, it was just kind of for the looks, for the fun of it. Clean them off and see how much prettier they look when you clean them off. Yeah. 
I took a picture of the deer footprint, so if anybody wants to see it, hit me up on Twitter or whatever and I'll show you, but I don't see it anymore because we got rain between then and now, so it's very possible that it got messed up and there hasn't been a deer around here. Said, oh, there's one. It's kind of deep, so it looks like they were slipping through the mud a little bit. But there's not really in the, anything in the field now, and if there was, the corn left, and it pretty much rotted. So it wouldn't be really anything unless they went for the grass in our apartments. So, now, I don't know if this farmer works the same way as most of them do, because they usually will have soybeans in one field and corn in the other and then the next year they'll switch it off so that it's not the same thing constantly um, so it might be soybeans this year because it looks like it was corn last year and actually the fields that I would go in when I was younger I ended up going sledding in when I got older and usually you can find a decent hill to go sledding down. And it's fast. And stopping yourself is hard, but those torpedo sleds are amazing. Now, there's these little trees that grow around that have green on them right now. I don't know if they're the same ones that you see in the fall where like the leaves don't come off. They just turn like a light tan color and they pretty much stay on until the new ones come in. Which I think is pretty cool because like the only ones that hold the leaves, even when it gets windy. But I'm not sure what they're called either, but they're neat. And you usually see them along the roadside and stuff. But yeah, if you guys were wondering what this mess is, this is all our old sidewalk and walkways. And I think the only reason they got rid of it, I said because it was a trip hazard, but I honestly think he was tired of shoveling the walkway. So now there's no walkway in front of the buildings. It's just from the door out and then parking lot so it's probably gonna all end up being grass or something this year so I don't know but anyway hopefully when I go to my mom's I will have another tour of spring and you'll get to meet the horses that are still there and I will talk to you in the next video